Not very far away from where we launched, but um, I've been given a hot tip that this hole here, this pretty deep hole over 30 foot deep is, uh, might hold a few uh, large secrets down below. So pretty keen to get a line in there. Anyway, if you might've seen my last video about winning the flatty competition, I actually won this uh, brand new Shimano combo with a Socorro, I hope that's how you say it, or Socorro, um, 6,000 salt water size reel with a it's a snapper rod essentially a six to ten kilo rod so i'm all geared up to catch something large today hopefully um i spoiled it with some 30 pound braid and i got some 40 pound leader on there so a little out of my element trying to catch through a large things but i thought i'd have a crack anyway um we'll fish here for maybe an hour or so if we don't get any hits there's some nice little creek systems i want to explore that feed into the river here a little bit further up and um i've got my lighter rods as back up anyway so anyways get stuck into it guys wish me luck i've got some mullet fillet that we're going to try out first and i've also got some uh well they i guess they're baby squid whole little baby squid that i'll try and rig up on the bigger setup we're rigging up with a size 30 suicide hook Feels so clunky using the big stuff, but I guess you gotta use the big toys if you wanna catch the big boys. There's definitely some large fish cruising through this uh, deep part of the channel, that's for sure. So there are things down there that can chew through 40 pound line easily, probably sharks. Dolphin just out here. So we can see it. There it is. Beautiful. How lovely. Oh. oh, we're up. I don't know what this will be. Super subtle. Feels so crazy having uh, oh, it's a big, big cod. Well, not big, but it's a cod anyway. We seem to get around the same size around here. There you go, little codly. All right, mate, off you go. Well, that's one in the bag at least. Um, it's cod, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I guess, and again, I wasn't sure what I was going to get out here, so it's all a bit of an experiment. Happy days. Well, the kindness of strangers, uh, my anchor was actually pretty badly stuck, and there was no way I was getting it back without tipping the kayak, so I um, flagged down a fellow fisherman and um, he was more than happy to come over to my rescue which I'm really thankful for and he managed to uh, get me anchor up he had to tie it off to his boat and sort of pull it off with the motor so uh, it was it was pretty well stuck down there I wasn't getting it back and he managed to get it all in one piece so super state thanks mate thanks Mick if you're watching appreciate that anyways we're gonna make a move hopefully get on some fish 
birds probably aren't going to be too happy with me encroaching on them. A little bit closer. It's going to scatter them all. They might poo everywhere and give me a bit of burly to work with. Sorry birdies. No luck at the tree snags there, so uh, we're gonna make our way up a little bit further. There's a little creek that feeds into here and we're gonna try and position ourselves um, at the mouth of it. Hopefully get onto some flathead or whatever's laying in ambush, so see how we go. Oh, yep, there we go. Little brim. Nah, Moses purred. Oh, thanks, mate. He's pretty aggressive. He wants to get yeah, back. There we go. Oh, that feels all right. Oh, yeah, that's. I guess that's going all right. Could be a cod. Nah, it's still fine. Could be a nice brim. Oh yeah, it's all right. There we go. Now that's a nice brim. That's what we've been waiting for. He's a decent brim. All right. All right, he's not bad. He's just on 30. He's a decent brim, so I'll take that for now. All right, mate, better let him go, eh? There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, right on that rock wall. Probably a cod, because it's given up. Could be a nice brim. Oh, it's a nice brim. Might be, might be a net job, this one. Oh yeah, he's all right. Oh, he's decent, eh? All right, let's have a look at this little fella. Pretty, pretty chunk. He's a decent brim. There we go. I'd say he'd be up around that um, 28 centimetre mark. We'll give him a quick measure. Yeah, it'd be about 28. Not a bad brim. Let him go, eh? Go on. All right. We'll throw some fresh mullet on. See if we can't repeat that. Up against this little rock wall. Might try and just get the other side of the rock wall. Hopefully it's still uh, deep enough for me to go over anchor up and we should be facing the wall a little bit better and we can sort of cast down um, current which will be nicer so let's do that oh. something's all over on the big rod but I'd say it's probably still too small for that hook There we go. Something on the small rod. Should be a nice little brim. Nice little grunter. There we go. Nice grunter. Just like to catch something, you know, five times that size. No worries, mate. Off you go. Oh, there we go. 
something took it on the wind in. Now it feels pretty solid on this rod. So I might be alright. What have we got? Oh yes. Oh nice size grunter. Yeah, he's alright. Need a net for this fella. He's an alright grunter. He's not bad. Let's see he's up around the 30 mark. I'll give you guys a better look. This guy's coming in at uh, 35. Not a bad model. Pretty stoked with that, 35 centimetre. Seems like fishing's on at the moment, so I'll let this guy go and uh, get the line back out there. Yeah. He's gone. There we go, there's a fish. There we go. Oh, this one feels all right. Maybe another grunter. I can see color. Oh man, it's like a nice solid brim. Oh, he's not ready yet, come on mate. There we go. Yeah, not too bad, probably very similar size to the last one. Not massive, definitely legal. Keen to get him back in now. All right, mate. There he goes. All right, Kings and Queenies, that's going to be it. No luck on the way back and um, it's getting pretty hot. I'm pretty thirsty and I'm getting pretty hungry now, so time to pack it in. Not a bad day for an exploratory day. I caught that cod, nice grunter, a couple of brim. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, this morning though, it was a shame that I did get my anchor stuck. It was a little bit dangerous there for a little bit because I didn't have enough um, rope out. So that's something I'll have to look at fixing in the future. But thanks to Mick, the local, who helped pull it up for me because um, yeah, it was kind of difficult on my own. Anyways, until the next one, Kings and Queenies, look after your mental health. See you in the next one.